Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Today's wisdom is this. Let your words be few, let them be nourishing, and let them be encouraging. Few, nourishing, encouraging. You think, well, that's a lot to think about when it comes to my words. But our words are so powerful. They're so important. So listen to these words. Today we're in Proverbs uh, chapter 10. We're picking it up in verse 18. And just listen to God's word. Let it soak into your mind and your heart and hopefully impact your lips. Here we go. This is Proverbs 10, 18. Whoever conceals hatred with lying lips and spreads slander is a fool. Sin is not ended by multiplying words, but the prudent hold their tongues. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver, but the heart of the wicked is of little value. The lips of the righteous nourish many, but fools die for lack of sense. When you think about your words, this passage has a lot of wisdom in a few words. So here's a couple simple thoughts, and I just encourage you to listen to each one of these, let it sink into your mind, move into your heart, and again, like I said, hopefully move its way up and impact your lips. First of all, talking too much is dangerous. You say, well, Kevin, you're a pastor. You make your living talking. Yes, and I can get myself into all kinds of trouble too. Talking too much is dangerous. So this passage says, just understand, fewer words is often the better way to go. Second thing from this passage, wise people learn to hold their tongue. Have you ever tried to talk while you're holding your tongue? Very difficult. You can do it, but it sounds silly and eventually you stop. I mean, here, here's this physical picture. Grab your tongue, hold your tongue, pinch it tight, and now try to talk. You can't, and so you just shut up. You stop talking. There's times you need to hold your tongue. Ask God to show you those moments. Is this, I mean, that, that's a term we use when we're talking to kids, but for adults, we should hear that too. So there's times you just stop talking. Then there's the other side of the equation. Righteous words can nourish many people. When you do speak, ask yourself, are these the right words? Are these words righteous? Are they honoring to God? Are they positive for others? Because the words that you speak can give life and health and encouragement and hope. Ask yourself as you're speaking, are these words righteous? Are they in the sight of God, the right words to speak? And one more thought that they probably didn't think about. Well, no, they, I know they didn't think about back in the ancient world when these words were written. The words that you speak don't just come out of your mouth. You can tweet them, you can text them, you can email them, you can post them. There's so many ways to get in trouble in our world today with our words. And so don't just think about the words you speak, think about any words you communicate because those are coming, and those are coming out of you to someone else. And in some ways, it's even more dangerous when you tweet or text or post something, and here's why. When you speak some words, people can hear them and maybe with time they'll forget them. But when you write them down, when you put them out there, in many cases, they're there forever. And so be very, very careful. I have people in my life who are using their words to bless me. One of my mentors, Carl Overbeek, every time I'm with him, he speaks words that are righteous, that are kind, that build me up. I love talking with him. Paul Cedar, another one of my mentors, Paul, I'm going to spend time with the day I'm filming this. A little later today, I'm talking with him. I'm excited because his words are always wise, they're kind, and they're thoughtful. And just the other day, as I was walking into my office, stuck with a little post-it on my door was a little post-it note that just said, I'm thankful for your knowledge. I had no idea who it was from. My wife had a post-it stuck on her door that said, I'm thankful for your humility. I found out recently there's a new younger person on our staff. Very young, you know, kind of post high school, kind of young college age. And he's going around putting post-it notes, using his words to bless people. You have power in what you say. So I want to pray with you that God would let this truth about guarding our words connect with our minds, move into our hearts, and then move up to our lips. God, this is our prayer. That when need be, our words would be few. But oftentimes, our words filled with, with kindness, with knowledge, with blessing, that our words would nourish the souls of others. Let us be just a conduit, a fountain of words that bring blessing everywhere we go. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, if you're part of Shoreline Church, I look forward to seeing you online or on campus this coming Sunday at nine o'clock and 11 o'clock. If you're part of another local church, get involved there, serve Jesus there, be part of your church. God bless you, enjoy the rest of your day.